Us over at Jigsaw Health are really passionate about minerals, as you know. But we're also passionate about everything that we do, which means that we get stressed out a lot. And if you're someone that gets stressed out a lot, you've probably heard of adrenal fatigue. And I want to break down the science of adrenal fatigue, and I want to give you some homeopathic ways to start taking back control of your adrenals, but also some preventative measure to make sure that your adrenals don't take over your life. I'm also going to share with you some of the ways that minerals specifically help out your adrenals to make sure that you're getting on track. So let's get down to the science. What are the adrenals? The adrenal glands are a walnut-sized gland that sit on top of the kidneys. Now, the job of the adrenals is really robust. They do a lot of different things. But just to name a few things that they do, basically they're going to regulate your sleep, they're going to regulate your sodium retention, your water retention, they're going to regulate your catecholamines like your adrenaline, your norepinephrine, your epinephrine. They're going to basically going to help regulate that fight or flight response. They're going to regulate your adrenaline levels, they're going to regulate your sleep and wake cycle. They regulate a ton of different things and they really actually affect a lot of different hormones. So we're talking about things like testosterone, things like estrogen, things like cortisol, things like aldosterone. Things like, again, we're talking about adrenaline, epinephrine, norepinephrine, all these other catecholamines, they even have effects on dopamine. But enough of the science on what kind of hormones they affect, let's talk about how you know if you're really starting to have an adrenal insufficiency or if you're starting to suffer from adrenal fatigue. Some of the things that you might start to notice, and I know some of these are vague, are things like fatigue, of course, okay? getting tired throughout the course of the day. The other one that you wanna watch out for is water retention. Are you feeling puffy? Is your face extra bloated? Are you holding water in weird places? Do you feel like every time you have salt, your body holds on to it? That's a big one too. Do you feel like it's easy to put on weight? Do you feel like it's really difficult to work out? Do your lower limbs hurt? Those are the things that you really want to be paying attention to. Now, the last big thing that a lot of people don't always put together is the sugar and the salt cravings. And when we're talking about the hormones that are associated with the adrenals, they are hormones that can directly cause you to crave salt and crave sugar. Now, if you start putting all these together, you may have a little bit of an adrenal fatigue issue. So let's talk about how you can start to combat this. Okay, the first way that you can combat this is by having Himalayan pink salt in the morning. I'm talking about a half teaspoon or maybe even just a quarter teaspoon, depending on how sensitive you are to sodium. It all comes down to that hormone known as aldosterone. Okay, that aldosterone regulates fluid retention within the body. It regulates sodium. It regulates how the cells uptake sodium and how they release sodium. So when your cortisol levels and your aldosterone levels are totally out of whack and your adrenals are fatigued, it makes it so that your body cannot regulate that sodium very well. Well, when it can't regulate that sodium, it means that when you do consume sodium, sometimes your body's gonna hold on to it or sometimes your body's gonna release it. Really, it's a wild card. You don't know what your body's gonna do. So by having the pink Himalayan salt in the morning, what you're doing is you're beating your body to the punch. You're giving it the sodium it needs right then and there so that the aldosterone and the adrenals can act on that sodium versus the sodium that's already in your body. If the aldosterone starts working on the sodium that's already existing in your body, it can make you retain more water because you either hold on to sodium or you deplete it. So all you're basically doing is giving your body the minerals that it needs right then and there. The other thing that you can do is add some magnesium into the mix, but you're gonna to wanna to do that in addition to the sodium. See, what the magnesium is gonna do is it's gonna help combat some of the anxiousness that may come along with overall cortisol levels being elevated. So it really works hand in hand. Plus, magnesium can also negate some of the negative effects of sodium if you're worried about water retention or you're worried about high blood pressure or anything like that. The next one is a pretty obvious one, but I'm gonna break it down a little bit more than what you think. And that's simply getting a little bit more sleep, but let me preface it with this. You can catch up on sleep. People don't realize that you can. If you go ahead and you sleep in one day, you do catch up on your sleep. If you lose it, you don't just lose it for good. You actually can recoup it. So I want you to know that. And basically what we wanna do here is we wanna start restructuring the cycle because normally when we wake up, our cortisol levels should be elevated. Our cortisol levels should go up in the morning and they should start to taper down throughout the rest of the day. Basically, it does this as a survival thing. Cortisol levels go up in the morning to wake us up, to get us going, to get our blood pressure up. And then they start to chill out throughout the course of the day. But when your adrenals are totally taxed and fatigued, what ends up happening is your cortisol levels don't elevate until later on in the day, or they spike at random times. So if you're someone that says, oh, I'm just more of a night person, I just like to do more at night, I get more work done at night, yeah, it's not just the way of the world. You see, we are eternal creatures. We're not supposed to be awake all night. So if you're starting to feel that way, it usually means that your adrenals are fatigued and your cortisol levels are going higher in the evening time, making it so that all the catecholamines and all the different adrenaline and the norepinephrine are elevating in the evening time, making you wanna be more productive then. That's not a natural way to live because it means that you're all out of whack. Additionally, what these high cortisol levels are gonna do is they're gonna cause massive fluctuations in blood sugar. Now, when you have that happening at night, you tend to go hypoglycemic. When you go hypoglycemic, you're gonna wake up. And when you wake up, you're obviously not getting good sleep. So we wanna break that cycle. 
So simply by getting a couple more hours of sleep, even if it's just once a month, your body starts to recognize that you're sleeping in a little bit later and you consequently have those higher cortisol levels a little bit later in the day and your body starts to match up. Your body's really good at finding homeostasis and finding that your cortisol should be elevated in the morning, not later in the day. So everything I'm telling you here is preventative. You want to put these acts in place so that your cortisol, so that your aldosterone, so that your adrenals in general have something to work on so they don't start attacking your body. If you haven't seen already, Jigsaw is releasing an adrenal cocktail, something that leverages the power of minerals, which obviously we are experts in, to help you take back control of your adrenal glands. So make sure that you stay tuned to learn a lot more about how this can be coming to you and how, again, you can harness the power of minerals to really, really take back control of your life. I'll see you in the next video.